Was this another like act of heroism type of thing? Yeah, Nagito did say that, right, Sarah? Yeah, he said that the first three cases here line up with the first three of the of game one. Interesting. So what did we have in this one? We had someone was stabbed, right? We had we had Byaki was stabbed, and then um, Terror Terror. No, no, no. Terror Terror was the one who did it. Byaki, Byaki was stabbed. What the fuck was the order of all of this? Who was the second person? Mahiru was the second person, right? And she was she was hit with a bat. <clears throat> and then Ibuki and Hyoko. And that that does make sense because the third one was when um I don't remember everybody's names. Third one was when fan fiction writer guy faked it but then actually ended up dying. Mahiru got bonked, yeah. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Yeah, you can just knock huh? it over. For reals? Yes, for reals. <laughs> I see. So my gut was right after all. Alright, it's up to you, Sonya. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Then I shall give it my all. Oh, I love her. I hope it's not her. Sonya, <laughs> here I go. Oh, we're arguing with her? All right, I'm going to go with goodnight button, which I love that it's called that, by the way. I wish I had a goodnight button. Not like in There's a fucked no up way, just in like color. a... Like sometimes it's hard to go to sleep. <laughs> Beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably mm -hmm. exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl. <laughs> I'm getting hella excited. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be honest, nothing really stuck out to me. Um... Yeah, Mikan's execution was a little a little odd, wasn't it? I I felt like it was a little bit underwhelming compared to like the crazy shit that normally happens. I feel like they just wanted to show her with like her legs spread and her little butt showing out of her dress. <laughs> um 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 There's no If the pillar was not lifted. Broken doorknob wire. Maybe the wire? It is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? Where did it go? What they the aimed right there? for his head and bullseye. All right, we might have to do this again because I might have I to could probably tip it save over. wire against the tip the pillar over Considering thing. The pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. I think it's just the tip the pillar over and the so pillar's weight. I think those are the only things that you can. I'm getting. I think those are the only things you can say. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna There's try. No need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lift, beating him with it is beyond it. What about tipping the pillar over? Nope. All right, I'm gonna try wire with Damn what it. um Fuyiko There's said. No need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was beating him with it, is what about tipping the pillar over? They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over, considering the pillar's weight. Did I have wire selected? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, then never mind. Damn it! Hmm. There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? Uh, they aimed right for his head and bullseye. Chain? Even is, I, I don't think the chain has anything to do with it. The pillar fragments, maybe? Considering the pillar's weight, Oops. it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go. Maybe pillar fragments <laughs> with knocking the pillar over. There's no need to lift that pillar. Yeah, they were the under his body. Great point. Beating him with it is beyond it. What about tipping the pillar over? No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. You're wrong. I'm right. Fuck you. <laughs> if Nakamura was crushed by the pillar, 
Then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Yes. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. Uh -huh. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed him, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. Or at least surrounding him, but we these were like straight up underneath too. him. But it's probably not what happened. Uh, I see. That was entirely my bad. No, Sonia, it's totally okay. It it's a process. We're just figuring it out. You had you, nobody Nicole told Maru you about those. It was just a conversation between Chiaki and Hajime. <laughs> like, this is not the same as Soda being like, ah, oh, see, I know the murder weapon and you're all stupid. Like, no, that's just Soda being dumb. <laughs> How much longer are you going to focus on the pillar? Just let it go already. Why let it go? I cannot stand. There's no Why does Soda act like that? I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. I know, I miss when I loved Soda. <laughs> I do still want to look sure like him, though. So, there's well, that. Can we? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. What is the... What is the symbol they have over Mikan's face? Oh, it's like a cross instead of an X. Is like a... True? Like a... A hospital. Then I shall ask you, what way is that? You guys... You know, there have been three class trials where Nagito, like, seemed to already have shit figured out, and everyone had no idea what was going on. So, if he's at his breaking point, I, I understand. The future with your own <laughs> Mel, powers. I never loved so that fucker that was all y'all. <laughs> like, don't fucking group me with you. <laughs> Right, the soda, you're meant to be a mechanic, you're meant to be smart. Monkwave couldn't have said it better myself. Why do you know how technology and machinery work so well, yet your brain is so empty? <laughs> you're unable to clear a path to the future with your own power, so you stand there and falter. A waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? I'm just a sucker you for a dude with pink hair and shark teeth. Yeah, I mean, literally same. It's pretty easy for me. <laughs> what a waste of talent. What a dick. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should have a hand. <laughs> what is it being such an okay, asshole? What the hell happened? Yeah, like, can we pause for a How second? You're what not the talking fuck? Like a lunatic anymore. Now you're just talking like a, a jerk. Lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. Damn. Huh? What do you mean? It's never even been a brain for soda. It's just liquid. <laughs> Just straight up slushy sloshing around in there. Seven Eleven Slurpees. Us how the just. Was used to kill. <laughs> well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. I feel like that's fair. But when combined with the specific item, there's a way it could be possible. Do you think the wire the has something to do with it? Item? But he was tied up, not the pillar, because he was he tied to the pillar. Weapon. Sure. The ultimate weapon? Isn't that? The thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, breaking news, so, it's a whole no, fucking room of weapon weapons. Is? It's not just one little know, thing. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? Yeah? You've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, <laughs> am the ultimate weapon. So if I completed the escape room, I I, I have ownership I over you? The insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the damn you think Gundam got victory. A's or F's in English class it's only fitting yeah we traded in one crazy for another <laughs> like yeah Nagito's an asshole now and now Gundam stopped being an asshole and kicked the crazy into high gear no, you are far greater than you think Gundam weapon. went to school I think Gundam was born with the knowledge that he has I don't think he ever had to be taught anything <laughs> Far greater than the ultimate weapon. Oh, Sonya. Oh, <laughs> why is Sonya so sweet? I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. Oh my God, relax. Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify, I know, that, I know. Gundam's blushing face is really house. cute. <laughs> huh? The secret of the funhouse? 
You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't Me you? Me fucking rallying to Congress. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. <laughs> God. Except for Hajime? Oh yeah, by the way, about to expose your whole sad backstory. Anyway, we must I know, could you imagine if Gundam actually house, was right? some sort of royalty? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the fun house. Yep. I think you're right. Strawberry house leads to strawberry tower, and grape house leads to grape tower. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the central tower. It is undeniable that such a sweet building structure <laughs> is the secret of the fun house. Now's not the time to try out your your English catchphrases and colloquialisms. Yeah. Not only does that make perfect sense, <laughs> Imagine having to come out of the so closet as a normal voice, dude. So <laughs> I, guys, I have something to tell you. I'm... I, it's not a choice. It's just who I am. I'm um, I'm not an ultimate. I'm just I'm just some guy. I'm a reserve student. <laughs> no, no, Hajime, it can't be true. Show. Oh my God, Sonia, please. Your discretion. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, it's not that. I, oh no, fuck. Oh God. Oh man. I told you guys, this is going to be the hardest part for me. Maybe the broken doorknob or the strange feeling in the tower. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. And the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this ah, problem. Shit. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. All right. Just because you like a girl doesn't mean she's right all the time. Also, there's no point in just agreeing with someone true, all the time. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. Nope, not that one. Okay, maybe the one where... Akane says about the walls. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Is that really it? Who says it? I can't remember who says it. I think it's Akane. It is Akane. I mean, the walls are different colors. Okay. Damn it! Oh boy. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the strange feeling in the tower? The hell are they talking about? Regardless of whether you enter the tower from Grape Hole or Strawberry Hole, the placement of Nekamaru's body, the tip of her pillow, the oil safety, and the dust of the heart, because we turn to All right, I'm switching to that one. Funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same price. I mean, the walls are different colors. No? Okay, I'm gonna say it to what Sonia said. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. Boom! No, I've done it. She says after getting it wrong six Don't times. <laughs> are they really the same place? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my <laughs> kingdom destroyed your homeland? I'm sorry. What? Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. <laughs> Soda, I'm gonna kill you with my own two fucking hands. Oh my god. This dude is fucking- this dude is killing me. This dude is- is absolutely killing me. I, I, any sort of rebellion? Please. I mean, doesn't seem strange? <laughs> when we went to Great Tower from Great Hall, Nekomaru's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Yeah, and didn't we figure out that they only the room only changes because of the lighting on the walls on the floor? So maybe what's the difference of just doing that on the door? Hall, this 
body was in front of the door to Great Hall. It's so what is the setup? Some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. Okay, but why would it do that? See, that means it could have passed as the exact same place, right? But why? So then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? I gotta be honest with you. I'm loving this attitude from Naito. Does that mean he's wrong? Ugh. <laughs> Oops. I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building. Bow down! Oh, boy. I didn't think the we'd have to argue with Sonya. Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. We were all in the elevator at the same time. Why are you well, acting we like this? From Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? But we should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. Then Monokuma did it. Why? While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. Why would he do that? What is the purpose of that? Body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? And all of the fragments, if each individual little rock? Carry, let them roll it. Just like if there's no bread, let them eat cake. Uh, Sonia, I love you so much, but <laughs> oh god, this is gonna this is so much to look at. Okay. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. I was using the wrong joystick. The Whoops. pillar could have been rolled, and Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a pillar doing. Oh my god. She's so strong! <laughs> Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That's true, she did just destroy the crime scene before we I mean Monokuma just destroyed the crime scene before we got here. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the pillar of the body. Oops. Oops. Could have moved it. Why couldn't he the oil. The oil. It's the oil. You have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic with the pillar. Oh, damn it, I hit the, the wrong button. Crime scene? Allow me to cut through. They, oh, there we go. Moving the body and pillar. That's true. It would be kind of crazy if she, it if it was all Sonya because she yes, yeah, she has the resources cuz she's a princess and she's got plot armor. I think they would recycle Mechamaru like an old electronic. <laughs> they already used some of his innards to create to get the doorknob working again, or to get the, the button door button working again. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I I am terribly sorry. Aww. I cannot believe I got so fired up. Oh, it's okay. I love you. It's no right. problem. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. So to shut the fuck up. All right. So what really happened? <laughs> Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? Hmm. We can't be certain. No, I think of they're just either. set up differently than we thought. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete <laughs> so They would plan on recycling him, but someone would throw him away by mistake. Like those people like when you don't know which one's the recycling bin. And so you throw everything into the, into the trash, not realizing it. <laughs> yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building, or two different buildings, then what are they? They can't be on top of each other, can they? No idea. Huh? I mean, they must be. I don't know. It's Nagito. Nagito must know. I thought it would come to this. <laughs> I knew my turn was coming up. Oh, we Fine. love you, bud. Tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. <laughs> Bonami absolutely panicking in the background. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint. But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to. Do I think this maybe it would be too proper. obvious for Nagito to be the traitor. I don't think it's him. It's also important for me because just want to put soda on the rope with Monami and put tape over his mouth. That's fair. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. But how do we know your hint is any good? 
it's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. Another good point. I have a good Akane reason Akane is using that. that, that du she's dusting off her big old brain. <laughs> the reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. Are you sure? Are you sure you were the only one who did it? I see. You're talking about the final dead room, How right? can you know? You cleared the life-threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final So are they on top of each other? Was a hidden room but how would that make sense concrete. if it only turned 180 degrees? And there, a small conspicuous window waited all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Nagito, I love you, but please just fucking Please, just answer. Instead just say what you mean. It might be faster just to show you. At an opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final Camera? Dinner. You took a picture? Yep. Nagito grinned creepily as he retrieved a small digital camera. See? This is it. And as he said that, he showed us a peculiar pic picture. Let me explain it to you again. Huh. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House. From the secret room within the final dead room. But don't you think it's weird? If the Funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? A lot more trees than I expected, if I'm gonna be honest. Thought it was gonna be like a desolate wasteland out there. Then let's begin. <laughs> Shall, Shall I call, I call it? it thinking time? Thinking time. <laughs> yeah, you really he really thought he did something with that. <laughs> what doesn't make sense in this picture? Um is it the wall? Should it be that they're connected? It's the tower, right? I I just clicked the tower. But we're in a tower. If we're looking out of this window from a tower at another tower, then that would... Crap. Okay, whatever. Is it the trees? Here. Okay. <laughs> fine, it's fine. I can accept it. Hidden room inside the final dead room, right? If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the fairy house. Yeah, it should have been. Then We're kind of high this up. This is definitely strange, right? Doesn't look like the first this floor at all. Doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken from higher up. I see. And is that it? Oh my God! What are you, a fucking high school teacher? And and other contradictions. What doesn't make sense in this picture? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but there's only like three things in this picture. Here, the sky. If the I don't. The I don't understand. Thought it was. Grape House and Strawberry House should link to the tower in the middle, which means if you're viewing the tower from Strawberry House, you should see Grape House behind it. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no grape house at all. Oh, I think I understand a little bit better. I, I think I didn't understand the angle we were looking at this from, right? Are we, is that tower supposed to be Strawberry Tower? And that wall to the left, is that like a hall? Is that like where the escape room was? No, because it, it would have been on our right. I don't understand. <laughs> That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area, and Grape House is not behind the tower. 
So, are they on top of each other? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? This entire building part of this chapter is still just so above my brain power. Dude, that's how I'm feeling right now. From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements uh, as me. God damn. If you guys are truly symbols of hope. You're also you supposed to be an ultimate though. Like, how this. dare you? It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too. Even though he's just a normal high school student. Even though he's just some schmuck off the street. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent. You already know about the other crew. Is he talking about that one time? Imagine if you actually thought like that. Imagine if those were your thought processes. Right? He just fucking you popped up. When you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Great House, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? The top floor, right? Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. Top yes? Floor. So the third floor? But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean? Was that thing just now another hint to figuring out the mystery? The reason Nagito appeared from the third floor? Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Is it Hangman's Gambit? Oh, it's Logic Dive. Which one is this? Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. That's fast. That's break. That's jump. All right. Oh no, we want to avoid that? Yeah, okay. All right. Tony Hawk's Pro Murder Mystery! <laughs> oh, whoops. A little bit of brain damage, it's fine. No big deal. It's a very soft hit, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Expected it to be a lot more impactful. Question one. Strawberry House and Grape House both exist. What? Uh, 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 okay. Okay. See how those are popping up at the last second? It's fucked up. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna die. We're gonna die in the abyss and never return. What do you think it's like for everybody else during the trial right now? Do you think ha this is just all in Hajime's head? He's just thinking about other shit. Starbucks and Grape has the same building or two different buildings? They're the same building. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I can answer the last question. Maybe. Okay. How are Strawberry House and Grape House positioned with the other? Uh, vertically. I think they're on top of each other. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. Woo! It's all coming together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got it. She just pulls out a PS Vita to play this while they're all arguing. It's just straight up playing SSX Tricky on his phone. <laughs> and let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? Hajime well, doing all these movements in real time. <laughs> I didn't see Great House at all. So where did Great Hang House on, go? I gotta go skateboard about it real quick. I gotta just go think. I gotta just get out of here and just think for a little while. There is only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same but how did the elevator work? Floors? If it, if it, the 180 degrees thing and is throwing me off, that's the all. The, the, the elevator seems like it was turning back and forth, buildings. not up and down. They're actually one story building? If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. Below. Crap! 
Oh fuck. <laughs> no, he's right. It's above it. <laughs> Cause it right, because the I think the doors lead the, the hatch that Nagito found leads down to Grape House. That's what it is. Grape Tower. The photo taken from the Grape first house. floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. <laughs> yeah, I was very sure of myself for someone who was wrong. <laughs> Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House <laughs> is also the fourth floor above. Makes oh, sense. Snap. I never oh, expected snap. that the two houses were connected vertically. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. Were they? Um... Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? Well, y'all are fucking galaxy-brained out here, because I... It never uh, occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon. Oh my god, I mean, Overlaid geniuses. Overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we would perceive them. Oh, <laughs> the music fucking the the bass drop right there. <laughs> we fully believe the two houses were two separate distinct buildings. Wow. In order to conceal the unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. Oh. Yeah, I was like, what was the point of knocking them out? Oh, I hate that. Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? No, I hate you. Let me it's out. true? The building was really like that? That's right! Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building! <laughs> Absolutely Kumid. Hashtag like Kumid. <laughs> you fucking idiot, you just got Kumid. You, you freaking dingus. Then what about the towers? Constructing a building like that on their own without like my houses? knowledge, dude. What are you guys like? Actually, partners or like? I need to know. I need to know what the hell's going on with Monami. Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House. Oh, Strawberry I need you to spell it out for me, Danganronpa. Need you to literally show However, me a picture of what we're talking about. Floors within the same building. Why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Ah, your precious hammies don't know, but it's so simple. What an asshole! What did Gundam do to you? Alrighty then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please, Please watch, watch me, Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia, Sonia, look! Oh, Sonia, look! I see. Look! Do whatever you like. God, she's so polite. Oh, definitely make her watch me. <laughs> I'm gonna stand out till she notices me. Oh God, cringe. Oh no, now we're gonna argue with him. I really love the way he's. I'm gonna stand out until she notices me. It's like the most nerdy we've ever heard him talk. <laughs> yeah, get some self worth. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. Get self loved, bud. Hurry up, dumbass. One of the bodies in one of the towers. Golly, you're hamsters. Actually a dummy. Oh no, just you're the dummy, honey. You mean a fake body? <laughs> Damn it. Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're magnificent, Gundam! Oh my god. <laughs> no fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was a fake body? No, I don't think Shut either of them up, are fake. Just pick one of them. Okay. No, this is silly. What a silly argument. Hold on. Hold on. Body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the Fud House. Had a severely damaged. His limbs were designed to be detachable. It's not that one. The wire, what else did we have? Three in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass. The doorknob. One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. No, not that one. Damn it! The doorknob is the only thing that would make sense to me that it's, it's the same it's the same flash. room. And hurry up, dumbass. Because of the doorknob issue. 
One of the bodies in one of the towers. Golly, your hamsters. Who said golly? I need to know. <laughs> you mean a fake body? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. No. Hmm. <laughs> Next murder, Sonya dies from cringe. <laughs> um. Could you imagine saying something so stupid so confidently? Like, yeah, no, obviously, it's just a dummy. But, like, didn't we already establish that it couldn't be possible to set up the exact same crime scene? Alright, whatever. Um. Damn it! Alright, uh oh, we're gonna die. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! And hurry up, dumbass! Um one of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. Maybe it is you the Monokuma file body? with the dummy one? Nekumaru died with a mechanical body. Oops, it should I missed. be possible <laughs> to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent Gundam! From what spare parts? No, fair. You like who had spare parts? Spotlight. So which one was a fake body? Shut up, just pick one of them. Yeah, you're right, Sarah. I wish I had Soda's confidence also. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just be so absolutely sure. Hurry up, dumbass! Alright, I'm gonna try this one. One of the bodies in one of the towers. Golly, your hamsters. Was actually a dummy. No. Damn it! I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! The wire? Then hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of was actually a. You mean a fake body? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. No, I guess we're not disagreeing with that. I need to just stop just like guessing. I need to fucking try to think properly. I'm solve this mystery in a flash. Um. Then hurry up, dumbass. One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. I really don't you know, mean actually. A fake body? Died Wire, good night, and tipped over. Hold on, let's look at this. Wire. Nekomaru's body and left leg were tied with metal wire. The tip of that wire was also tied to a loop. Good night, button. Button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Buttons pressed. All of his functions cease. He's forced into sleep mode. I will solve this mystery by killing Soda so he stops putting dumb ideas out there. Dude, I'm in the same kind of boat right now. Soda's only made this worse since we literally started. For some reason, the killer was able to enter the tower from the Strawberry Hall. Hmm. Maybe I should try chain on the dummy part? It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent Gundam! No fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was the fake bot? Shut up! Just pick Oh, one. he's crying. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna try chain on dummy, and then maybe we'll I'm die and just start over. In a flash. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. Damn it, we were wrong. We've died. Oh no, I've died. All right, I accept my fate. It's fine. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we die. All right. Hajime Hinata. Yes, please. We will never give up. Oh. <laughs> Imagine every time they voted the person was just like, uh, we'll never give up! And they're like, oh shit, okay. Uh, vote retracted, I guess. I think we need to disagree with whatever Soda's saying, because he keeps saying the dummy thing. Which just doesn't make sense. So... I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash! And hurry up, dumbass! I'll try wire. Maybe it's something about how he's tied up. bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. Fuck. Because I don't want to disagree with what 
Gundam's saying, right? What Gundam's I'm saying is... This mystery in a flash. And hurry up, Let me see, what was Gundam saying? One of the bodies was actually a... You mean a fake... Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. Yeah, that's not... Should be possible to that's not wrong. We don't have anything parts. to disagree with on that. No the thing that we're disagreeing so with is that it was a dummy. Up. So... One of them. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass. One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. No? Okay, it's not the pillar, it's not the wire, it's not the Monokuma file. We I already used the strange feeling, it can't be that. Hurry up, Did we try the ass. chain already? One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy! 